Hello. This video is about how to read a micrometer, an outside micrometer. And I am going to make myself disappear so that uh, you can get the whole picture. And so here we go. We're going to build off of and use some of the names of the parts that we talked about in the last video. And so these numbers up top here are hundreds. If you recall, on the last video, I first talked about we look at the frame of the micrometer to determine what range, uh, uh, inch range, that it is going to uh, measure between. So a 0 to 1 means these numbers here are between 0 and 1 inch. And if I have the other micrometer uh, that I showed you before in the last video, it was a 1 to 2 inch. That means it's 1 inch and whatever this is. And if it gets all the way out to um, 0 again, it's going to be 2 inches. So we have our whole number. Our inch is 0 in this case. And then we would count our hundreds. A uh, good way to reference this and think about it is most people know uh, the dollar system. Um, so if you think of a hundred as a dollar, each one of these is a dollar, it might help with uh, the next part that I'm going to show you here. And that is each one of these little lines underneath here is a 25. You can think of it as quarters. Okay, so we know that there's four quarters in a dollar, and if you look, there's one, two, three, then four makes a whole dollar. So on the fourth one, it makes a dollar. So four quarters makes a dollar. And then each one of these lines on the thimble here is equal to ones. So in this case right here I have five six thousandths when I line it up with the reading line or six pennies. And so I can think about it as how many dollars, how many hundreds, how many twenty-fives or quarters and pennies and add them all up and come up with my uh, dollar amount shall we say and um, then we uh, are able to uh, come up with a reading. So these dollars or hundreds is equivalent to 0.100. Our 25s or quarters are 25.025 and our ones or pennies are 0 0.001. And this is our 1 to 2 inch micrometer. So 1 inch to two inch. So this is one inch and whatever this portion is. Kind of like a ruler. When we measured a ruler, if we got over one inch, it was one inch plus some fraction. So with this, the lower number, the smallest it can be, is one inch. So zoom in here a little bit and we can take a look at this. And what I want you to see is when we're trying to read this and we measure, we're going to take the end of the thimble. When it rotates, it moves up and down. And um, the edge of this thimble, along with the line where these two lines meet, is where we're going to read to come up with our um, hundreds, 25s to determine our ones so that we can get. Uh, that final number. And so what I would like to do is show you on line, and this is Stefanelli, um, professor, um, has some good virtual micrometer as well as the virtual um, dial caliper. And so we're going to work with this for a little bit. This is the whole micrometer down here below, and they kind of zoomed in on just the uh, the spindle and the cylinder parts so that uh, we can kind of see a little bit more close up. And one of the things that I want you to see is this. It starts at 0 and 5 and 10. So as it's rotated, 10, 15, and again, we're always looking at where it lines up with my 
um, reading line 15 come on there we go oh 1520 and then it comes back around to 25 here's 025 notice I can now see the line one of the biggest um, confusions is this you cannot count this line as a 25 unless you are zero or more come on beyond zero so I have some ones to add to it see it's a little bit past the line but sometimes it's hard to see along this edge here do I count that line or not and the key like the caliper if it's past zero you count the line if it happens to be just short of it notice the number 023 and the three tenths up here we'll talk about the tenths on the vernier skill scale um, in a little bit but I can kind of see the line but according to the numbers 20 21 22 23 I'm not there yet I'm not up to the 25 so I can't count it okay hopefully this uh, makes sense so look at there's 25 now I'm gonna keep going around notice I can see I should see the next line it coming around to zero look I didn't count the line yet it's not quite there once I get past now it's 50,000 25 50 and what's on the thimble my ones so I'm gonna go around again here I go that's 75 well, actually it's 74 I'm sorry uh, come on I gotta get all the way to zero in order for it to be 75.075 one two three lines and I'm past the zero a little bit again if I was a little bit short this would be I'm not to zero lined up with my reading line so I got 25 50 plus 20 21 22 23 24 so 25 and 24 is 74 that's here we go 74 I'm gonna keep going one more time around back to zero 100 okay so 25 50 75 100 I'm gonna go just a little bit more to some number there we go it's kind of hard to get it perfect 25 50 75 100 plus 10 gives me a hundred and ten so I have zero inches one hundred thousandths and ten thousandths more I hope this makes sense and for practice you should come to Stefanelli here um, just search virtual micrometer in Google and you will get this and you will be able to uh, practice all right let's go back to getting this and let's practice on this one here so I've already established before we went to the virtual micrometer that this was a zero, one to two inch micrometer so I have one inch there's my hundreds how many hundreds is it 200 there's the two two hundred thousandths point two zero zero notice I'm lining them up I'm gonna add them all up at the end after I do my hundreds I gotta do my 25s how many lines do you see here lined up with this and the reading line how many 25s right there's what we're looking at I see one line so I have 25 one line a whole 25 notice I'm at 5 so that means I'm past zero zeros down here I kept rotating around okay so once I get my 25s how many ones are here on the thimble kinda gave you a clue we're past 5 okay almost to six if I rotated it some more six would come down 
but I'm not there yet, so I can't say six. I can only say five thousandths or five pennies. There's the line. I'm past the five. So it's point zero zero five. I'm adding. I'm going to add these all up here in a minute. So now notice I'm in between these two. And remember I told you that this has the vernier scale so we can go to the fourth decimal place, ten thousandths of an inch. So right in here is where I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm eyeballing this, looking at this reading line and seeing where it is. Now, I could probably guess that that looks about halfway. So on that other micrometer that doesn't have the um, tenth scale, the vernier scale, I could estimate that as about a half a thousandth. But in this one, we have the scale, so I want to show you how this works. That's the lines I'm talking about up there. What I need to do is get them to match up, find which one matches with one on the thimble. So Vernier scale, one thousandth of an inch. And so I have a little video here where I kind of rotated um, this so that hopefully you can see it. So same setting. We rotate around, see there's all of these marks up over here. It goes all the way to 10. The number I'm going to read is the number on the left. Find which line lines up with the one on the thimble, but the number I'm going to add to my um, problem that I'm working out is the one on the left. I'm going to zoom in here, let it zoom up. So I'm looking, nothing's matching up. I come back, oh, wait, wait, I think I see something there. Looks to me like, let it focus, eh, it's not too bad. Can you see it? Can you pick the one? One's too low, one's too high. So hold on a minute and I will uh, get you a still shot of that. Whoa, what's that? Uh, let me, That's, there we go. Okay, so here's my still shot. Notice. Looking in that area. Okay, that's the area that I'm going to look in. So this one's a little above the line. This one's a little below the line. So this one's right smack dab in the middle. Now it's not 13. It's not 13. That's when I'm. That's my ones. When I'm talking about the tenths, I'm reading over here. So this lot two lines line up, and that's a five. So that's the number I'm going to do. See? Right there. Notice that line looks pretty straight across. Five ten thousandths of an inch. That's the fourth decimal place we're working with here. So here we are back to this. We lined up with the five, five tenths. Okay. And that's where we were before. And so now down here, there's my five tenths. It's a fourth decimal place. So we do a little adding, and we have 1.2305. Okay, so I hope this uh, kind of helps guide you pretty well or clarifies some things. I highly recommend that you uh, go and do the virtual micrometer, cover up the answer, with a sheet of paper on your screen, try and read it and guess yourself um, to come up with the right answer and then check. Uh, practice makes perfect with anything that we're going to be doing in uh, class. So you need to practice. So if you got some questions about this, I would replay the parts of the video that you're not sure of and come in tomorrow with questions um, to ask for clarification. If um, So um, again, Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time.